Hey guys, how's it going? David in Arc here, and uh, I am showing you some something I've been working on. It's a little pet project of mine. I'm taking my old recording rig, my old gaming machine. It is uh, an i7-4770. I'll be honest, I don't know if you can see the cursor on the screen or not, but if you can see the mouse pointer, um, they're in the middle. i7-4770 running at 3.4 gigahertz, and I am installing a variety of old OSs on it, mainly just to just to try and see if it works and figure out what the what the pitfalls are. <clears throat> I am using a piece of software called Boot It Bare Metal, and it comes with a 30 day free trial. Uh, I think it's like 40 bucks to buy. And it is what is managing all of my uh, operating systems that I have installed here on the system. All right, so on, on my computer, I have DOS 622 with Windows for Workgroups. I have Windows 95 um, C. I have, at least I think that's C. Well, I'll check that in a minute. Um, Windows 98 uh, SE and then Windows XP. So I am going to uh, start with DOS. And the uh, weird resolution changes has to do with my capture device that I've got uh, in my system. It has nothing to do with the actual what's coming out of the computer. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, if I had a regular screen hooked up, it would all look normal. So any weird glitches you see like that, that just that's my capture card trying to figure out what's happening with the resolution. And actually, it's probably more of an OBS thing than anything else. But as you can see, I'm in DOS. Uh, I've got a two gig partition. Um, I found a driver called gcdrom.sys, which uh, allows you to use SATA DVD drives or SATA CD drives uh, as IDE drives, which is phenomenal. It's phenomenal. It takes a little finagling to get it working. Again, I'm not going to cover that in this video. This video is just to show off the different uh, stuff that you can do. So uh, I should probably shut up and <laughs> just let this ride. By the way, anytime you see no signal, that just means that the um, capture card can't record. It can't keep up with changing resolutions and all that kind of stuff as quickly. So here we are here. Obviously, Windows for work groups. Hi, how you doing? Old school dude. All right, so I'm going to exit Windows. Yes, I'm, I'm good. Uh, and then once it, uh, I always wait for uh, my capture card to catch up back to the regular resolution anytime I'm dropping to DOS. I don't know why I don't, I don't actually have to, but I just, I feel like I need to. So I'm going to do Control Delete, and we're going to restart the computer. And uh, again, we see the Acer splash screen. So here I could delete to go into BIOS or I get F12 if I want to go to the boot menu, but I'm just going to let it boot itself. And because I'm running the boot it bare metal, uh, it will come up to my boot menu. Now I will tell you, and again, I'll cover this in a video on, on a kind of a how to, but every time you install an OS, you have to rerun the boot it bare metal boot C, excuse me, boot CD in order for it to change the um, master boot record back to where bare metal loads instead of like whatever OS you just installed. So it, it gets a little funky, but, um, and then I don't know why this is happening, but I'll figure it out. But anyway, uh, the key is that uh, we're now booting up into Windows 95. And again, no signal because what's happening at that point is it's going from the 95 splash screen over to the actual OS. And so there's a there's a resolution change. And again, I don't know if it's OBS or if it's my capture card. Either way, it's having trouble um, keeping up with it. So it just has to uh, monitor and adjust. So if I select my computer and we Alt-Enter... Then we can see here I'm running Windows 95 version C. It thinks that I have a Pentium Pro with 863 megs of RAM. Um, I do have one gig of RAM in the system. Um, but once you install your OSs, then you can bump your RAM up because it won't matter at that point. You'll know it's working. Uh, so we're going to shut this down, restart the computer. And again, 
right now, uh, of course, at that point, there really was no signal. But uh, as it's rebooting, it goes into the uh, Acer uh, boot screen and then the bare metal boots up and we jump down to Windows 98. So actually, you got to see the Windows 98 splash screen. That's actually kind of rare with this capture card. Usually I just hit Windows 98 and it pops up Windows 98 like you see here just because it's it can't keep up with how fast this is processing things. But if I do this, then you see we have Windows 98. Um, so what happened here with this right click thing? Ah, uh, that's the mouse. So one of the problems I have not solved yet is my mouse issue. In Windows 95 and Windows 98, we'll restart here, um, the mouse is insane. I mean, if I just try to move it, it jumps all over the place and, it, and it's like it's always in right click mode and I don't know what's going on. I've researched it. I've tried to check out how to fix it. Nothing that I've been able to do so far has fixed the mouse problem in 95 or 98. So if you happen to know uh, of a potential fix, feel free to share that. Like I said, I've been searching all over the internet. I've tried dozens of different things. I'll get it figured out eventually. I just don't know what that is right now. So now we're going to boot into Windows XP. Now, Windows XP, um, you actually do see the splash screen for a little bit anyway. Um, just because, you know, the newer the operating system, the longer it takes to boot into it. I mean, that's just the nuts and bolts of it. But... Uh, once this comes up here, then uh, Windows XP uh, boots up. Oh, and I did not show you in the other operating systems. I, I probably should have. But when you bring up uh, my computer in the other operating systems, all you see is the local hard drive. In Windows XP, because I have it set to where it can see those other partitions, then that's where I can copy stuff from you know, a, a disc, or I can jump out on the internet with Windows XP, grab drivers or whatever I need, and then put them where I need them to go. Um, as you can see, Windows XP recognizes the USB floppy drive that I have attached, and then it also recognizes my DVD drive. So, very cool stuff. I'm going to just... Uh... Oh, did I... Uh, I can't remember. Let me see. Um... Jump over here real quick. Oh, no. Oh, I can't. Oh, yes, I can. I forgot the mouse works perfectly fine in Windows XP. So if I right click on my computer and go to properties, then you see that it shows. Notice that Windows XP actually shows that it is a uh, i7 4770. So that is awesome right there. <laughs> Very cool stuff. So I'm going to turn this off. We'll just restart and get back into booted bare metal. So there you go. I, I just wanted to do a quick uh, demonstration, show you guys kind of what I've been up to. Um, again, this is one of the reasons why I got the, uh, why I wanted to get that uh, uh, PCIe video capture card in the first place is so that I could do this kind of stuff without having an external camera, you know, pointed at a screen or whatever, you actually can see directly uh, what I see on the screen. So there you go. Very, very cool. Anyhow, uh, I will do a, a follow-up video where I will actually walk through all of the steps for installing each of the OSs. I'll talk about some of the stumbling blocks, some of the caveats, all that kind of stuff. But uh, there you go. Got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. And thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time here on David and Ark.